In this episode of the Discourse of Human Events, I join Zach and Cody to talk about midgets, porn, midgets in porn, black people, and whether or not it's possible for a girl to have a double clitoris. Also, Zach rants about his amazing superhero, Dickman. Enjoy! Here we go. One step at a time, don't be living on the line, I don't need a friend, I got more than on the mind, sunshine in my brain, making everyone complain, radio in the heart, don't be being so strange, think I'm losing it, baby where you been, everybody said, okay this is the discourse for human events, we got Cody to my left, and Kara to my right, and... <laughs> And Kara has a little news story to tell us to begin the show. Kara, take it away! I told you to wait, didn't I? Kara, take it away! And take it away, Kara. No. Okay. <laughs> so. And Kara, take it away. I'm talking, fucker. <laughs> All right. So this Thursday, the new Twilight movie came out. Right? Correct. So this guy went out, he bought... He bought... He bought something. He bought, he bought lots of loot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he, bought, he bought two assault rifles and 4,000 rounds of ammunition. And his mom called the cops because she was suspicious. And he admitted to planning on doing a copycat of Colorado oh, events in Missouri at the Twilight sh- showing. That's fucked up. Right? I told you it wasn't, like, surprising because you knew it was going to happen or something. Because, you know, copycats. Well, no, I mean, you didn't know, you didn't it, was know gonna it was going to happen. But it's like... I mean, they should see it coming for being Twilight fans and all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> they kind of, they get what's coming to them. Yeah, they kind of have it coming. Yeah, I heard that on the radio <clears throat> and I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm not going to premieres yeah. anymore. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous that it hurt uh, The Dark Knight Rises for that happening. Right, cause because no one's going to just do it again right after. Yeah, well, but people are like, oh, that's a violent film. It's promoting violence, so <laughs> clearly it caused the violence. No, it was a fucking crazy-ass bastard. I would, like, get some knockout gas and, like, put everybody out. Like, make it so they couldn't run first. The guy had gas or something, I think. Oh, the, yeah, the original one. He had some kind of gas Maybe grenade like or smoke ranks. grenade. Yeah, he had something like that. That's why it was so... So many people. Shit, I would just nuke the fucking theater. Yeah, they said really the last <laughs> time. Hey, Cody, get do we need to call the cops? <laughs> I, I am suspecting suspicious behavior. Suspicious stop, 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 stop. But, uh, the only reason, like, so many people got away is because his gun jammed, like, midway through. <laughs> and so people were able to escape when his gun jammed. They got faulty guns. Yeah. I don't know what kind of gun he used. Some kind Should've of got a Glock. Should've got a Glock. It was a reliable gun. If you're gonna murder oh, people, and, use uh, a Glock. When I was reading the article, apparently they thought he might also, after that, um, go to Walmart and start shooting up the uh, Walmart. Why he, Walmart? And then break the ammunition case, and so he'd have more ammunition. <laughs> and then they'd start like the whole Walmart has no ammunition again, just like <laughs> yeah. after bowling for Columbine. I don't think he would have made it and, into Walmart. Yeah, I honestly don't no, think probably so either. Not. Unless they were like right across the street from Walmart. And also, further down, it says that a few years ago, 2009 or 2008, he followed a Walmart employee around for like almost two hours or something. I don't know how long. So until he's a they called, no, until they, well, yeah, but until <laughs> they called the police and he admitted to like following him around trying to get up the courage to stab him to death. What? Do they have, so they have a knife on them? Apparently. No, I just want to stab him with his I'm just hands. Saying, he could have uh, waited another day. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he had it on him. The whatever happened to that one guy though? They haven't really released oh, any heard about information. Him. And he's uh he's in prison. He's been trying to commit suicide by banging his head against the wall. <laughs> and they recently took him to the hospital. Really? Yeah. Well, why? Do, how do people try to think? Try to bang their head up against the they're wall, pass thinking out. that's gonna yeah they're gonna knock unless themselves out, out or give themselves a concussion unless he's. Finding, like, a good corner and just hitting his temple as hard as possible. The key is you he gotta work your neck muscles out first. <laughs> yeah. And then you just gotta give it one good. He's got, he's got that one. He's sucking dick in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be, like, old boy just in his prison cell just, like, practicing to kill himself. Mm-hmm. Just neck snaps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. He'd have the world's largest neck. Also, he can kill himself. 
Or he would go on like a murdering spree of just hitting people in the head. And that's how he escapes prison. And he goes back to a theater and starts hitting everybody in the head. Head buds. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> The head, yeah. the head butt massacre. So th this dude went to jail and stuff. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got a being held on a, or he's being held on a five hundred thousand um, dollar bond. Why did he admit to it if he hadn't already done it? Like I don't know. It doesn't go into detail. It just says I would have just been he, like, I was playing like a very big hunting trip. <laughs> 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 I was playing the hunting a lot. Well, he had been arrested, or well. Brought into the police about that one thing about him being or him uh, following that Walmart. So he has like a history of being crazy. Yeah. People just need to be watched a little more. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the, thank uh, God his mom. Yeah, at least his mom was smart. <laughs> mhm. Mm the other guy apparently he might have lived alone though, so nobody was really suspicious. But in other news, <clears throat> Cody, the toilet paper in the bathroom. Okay, over or under? Uh, I don't really care. Motherfucker. Don't give a fuck. It's over. It's over. You always do over. <laughs> because when you do under, you that gotta... That my bad. You gotta... We found the culprit. <laughs> we found her. When you do it under, you got you pull at least it I under, it. and it rips too easily when you grab at it. Mm. But if you do it over, you just like slide it, and the, the toilet paper just comes. No, no you, problem. You have thought about this. Dude, Why I've read just, like 13 bathrooms. Why can't readers. you just unroll it the other way and just be like... I don't like to finger my toilet paper. <laughs> You just like to paw at it? Yeah, I like to paw at it like a little cat. Like, meow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a savage when it comes to toilet paper. I'm going to make a vertical toilet hole holder, and so you're just going to have to, like, pull it. <laughs> like, that would be the worst. <laughs> in a position, and it's just going to give you one sheet at a time. <laughs> That's fucked up. Why would you do that? And then the midget's going to be hiding under the toilet, and he's going to punch you in the balls. <laughs> I would kill that midget before he had the chance. <laughs> He doubles as a poop box, though. <laughs> I still don't get why we used the <laughs> a midget as a poop box. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. Hey, you play like, you can sing little tunes while you're pooping. <laughs> he, he comes equipped with, like, uterizer and stuff, too, after you poop. He just, like, shh, 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 gives you a warm towel. He has, like, a little utility belt. Uh, midgets need to capitalize on what they are. You know what? Like, <laughs> human poop boxes. <laughs> <laughs> human entertainment, okay? Because okay. we all know midgets are only half human. Um, no, it's fucked up. <laughs> um, actually, uh, on Snow White, when they did the uh, Snow White and the Huntsman or whatever, yeah, they edited in the midgets. They made like the midgets like real actors, mm -hmm. but then they like digitally edited them. To, to like, make them smaller? Yeah, and like midgets dorks. were pissed. Like, midget actors were really pissed because they didn't get the work. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny. That, I wonder if they have, like, a midget union. Uh, probably. You think so? You should, you should look that up. See if they have a midget union. Oh, midget those are some nice titties, though. Er, kitties. I meant <laughs> kitties. Cody doesn't look at titties, ever. Yeah. Only, only, only titties. kitties. I almost said only titties. I look at kitty titties. <laughs> That's weird. But only to look at the kitties, right? No, I like kitty titties. <laughs> I'm, I'm way into cats. <laughs> way into cats. <sighs> You should oh. fix that, or, like, figure out what's going on. Let's ask Siri. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let us know, Siri. Is there a midget union? Oh. There it goes. There's no snow in the forecast for Jakarta, <laughs> Indonesia through Thursday. What? <laughs> that was way off, Siri. <laughs> Try this again. Is there a midget union? Let me check on that. Do you want me to Google it? Would you like me to search the web for his midget union? Yeah. Searching the web for his midget union. Is midget union. <laughs> <laughs> the National Midget Union. Oh, shit. There is a midget union. They should have been on that shit. But don't they like to be called, like, little people now? <laughs> Why don't they like little people union? Why do they like to be called little people? I feel like that's more demeaning. Yeah. Welcome to the National Midgets Union. A heaven for the vertically challenged under four foot three inches. Damn. Hmm. So this was the first thing that popped up on Google. The next thing is dwarf tossing and midget throwing. <laughs> <laughs> A lost art. <laughs> dwarf tossing and midget. What was it? Midget throwing? Um, oh, here's Cha-Cha's answer. What's Cha-Cha? Yes. There is a group known as the Midget Union on Facebook. Their Cha -cha mission is awesome. 
For those Usually. people who have found life to be oh. rather short. <laughs> the restaurant cha-chas? No, it's what? a texting yeah. question thing. Yeah, when you before everyone had Google oh, on their GTs. phone. Yeah. It was a uh, cha-cha. You just had, you text cha-cha and it was I think it was free. I never heard yeah. of cha-cha. And like people would just sit at their computers and they work for cha-cha and they would just Google it for you and then text you back the answer. That is so awesome. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I've n- I never heard of cha-cha. You get some funny answers sometimes if you got the right people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is kind of cool. It's actually a really good idea. I mean, kind of useless now, but... Yeah, it was a great idea. Back then. Show me kitties. I couldn't find any places matching titties. <laughs> you said kitties and it turned into titties. No, You're me. trying to be nice. No, me too well. It's like, it, you don't mean kitties. Show me cats. I found 15 places matching cats a little ways from you. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> So, uh... But anyways, back to the, the dwarfs, or midgets as they are so-called. Right. So, I want, the Hobbit did that, though. <clears throat> Didn't they do... They did the same thing. Yeah, it's probably... It's not really that much different. Except they use camera techniques to make them look small. Maybe midgets just aren't really good actors. <laughs> Wait, there's one really good one. Have you watched Game of Thrones at all? Nope. But one of the main actors in Game of Thrones is a really good actor. Yeah. You got him and you got the, uh, mini-me. What's his name? Vernon Troyer. Yeah, Vernon Troyer. That's not too many midget actors coming up in the world. You had Kid yeah, Rock's sidekick that died. What? Kid Rock's sidekick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was a midget. And, uh, yeah, who you're talking about, uh, Wee Man. Yeah. Wee oh, Man yeah, was Wee always Man. How'd you know that's what I was talking about? I excited you're inside my head. You're in your fucking mind. I'll be inside something else later. Oh. 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 A nice, comfy pair of pajamas. <laughs> No. No. Nope. <laughs> I meant her vagina. No. <laughs> no. No. I was excited about the pajamas. My butthole, please. No means rape, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes no means yes. <laughs> it's all good as long as you yell surprise. Yeah, I, I feel like if you're a midget, you just gotta embrace the midgetness. You can't just be all offended by being called a midget. You just gotta you gotta walk around and juggle. You gotta play games. You gotta <laughs> Ride a unicycle. You gotta like some, some tall guy standing with his legs spread. You just gotta like, run under him and look at him and punch him in the balls or something. I would. <laughs> you just gotta be a fucking like an imp. You can't just run around being all upset that you're small. Did you ever see the midget on Howard Stern who did midget porn? No. And she would do it with real life size dudes. Oh, it was a female midget. No. Yeah. And she said she did a dude with, like, a 14-inch cock, and he could only put, like, four or five inches inside yeah, of her insane. because it would, like, impale her and kill her <laughs> if you put the whole thing yeah. inside. That is kind of crazy to think you could kill somebody with your dick. Maybe for you. <coughs> what? Maybe for you. Oh. You've oh. had the, you've run into this problem? <laughs> yeah, I can only use 30%. <laughs> I just got really distracted there. Oh, shit, bomb. <coughs> Embryo of power. <laughs> <laughs> Walking Dead needs a midget. Where's their midget at? They need some zombie midgets. They have sure. too many black people. It takes up too much room for midgets. Yep. Have you ever seen a black person and a midget in one show? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking jackass, but there is no black jackass person. <laughs> There's none. Oh, too much. Titties! Too, too diverse. Titties. Too diverse. But anyways, what Kara was speaking of is T-Dog died in The Walking Dead because they introduced the other black chick. What's her name? Do you remember her name? No, there's a black guy in there now, too. Yeah, There's two black people. It's in their group. Yeah, yeah but it's the in their group. Prisoner. Yeah, the black prisoner. Well, they introduced the there's black prisoner. There's two black people, so they can't have a midget. That's <laughs> true. It's just you either one black person, one midget, or two black people. You can't, you can't do anything else. You can't go. It's too much. Yeah, they have we can't even name one show that has a black person and a midget. They have an Asian. They have a couple girls. Ooh. They have an old dude. They have a kid. Google black person and midget <laughs> and movie or something. I'm, I'm trying to not make this come up with porn. But black person, black. I'm looking at black midget. Fuck it. Now you're out of control. Oh, there's another famous midget, uh, Beetlejuice from Howard Stern. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice is pretty funny. Uh, See, look, that's who came up on uh, Beetlejuice. Put a black <coughs> and midget in a show or a movie. That'll work. There's a black a midget, black midget movie. Um, <laughs> Little Man. You know, what? we didn't think of Tyler Perry movies. I guarantee you, 
Every Tyler Perry movie has a black midget running around. <laughs> there was a black midget in one of his ones that I watched. Wasn't it Death, Death at a, a Funeral? Death at a Funeral had yeah. one, yeah. Oh, yeah. So no good show or movie. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Perry just doesn't count because he doesn't put... He, he, it's all black people, so it doesn't even count. There's white people in some of them. There's some white people on Death at a Funeral. Yeah, but know. also, like you said, his movies suck, so... Yeah. And what is it... They're talking about their son to Joe Rogan speaks. Why are there so many black actors that dress up as women? What? That dress up as women in movies. That's you got Tyler Perry has the role as Medea or Medea. Yeah. And he had like white chicks. And there was... Oh Martin God. Sheen. Martin Sheen, the uh, Big Mama's House. Yo. It's the, it's the Why? Of, it's hard of black comedy, man. I guess so. God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I was going You got that. black people and they're funny. <laughs> And they, they hang around barber shops and they make jokes and they tell stories and it's really funny. Black people are awesome, just Tyler Perry movies suck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay, awesome. there's this picture on here. It says, one of my students' response to what would you do with a billion dollars? Have you guys seen that? Mm-mm. Okay. If I had one billion dollars, I would make an orphan believe he was going to Hogwarts and learn ma to learn magic. I would pay actors to pretend to be wizards and would have a fake Hagrid to take him shopping at a pretend dungeon or dungeon alley. I would plan elaborate magic illusions to convince him he really was a wizard. Finally, I would convince him to run out a wall and get to, or to get to platform nine and a half, nine or and three, a half, three quarters. That's nine what and three is. quarters. As soon as he hits the wall, balloons would fall from the sky, and a giant banner would fall down and read, Magic isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's like a little kid, you can tell. No, that is not a little kid. Yeah, well, look how messy that handwriting is. That handwriting is like three times better than mine. Uh, yeah, it's probably a 12-year-old. Mm, nah. <laughs> nah. I mean, Stamp! <laughs> handwriting is definitely a lost art. Yeah, there's no point in having mine. Good. Mine's pretty crappy. It looks about like that. Mine's not too bad. Got good some girl. chicken scratch. Girls have good handwriting. How? Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have fine tune hand skills for oh, masturbating. <laughs> masturbating. That, that's what, that's where we're going with it. Getting good hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't require digits. <laughs> How small is your penis, Cody? <laughs> you need <laughs> digit dexterity to jack off. I do. I like special <laughs> moves. <laughs> you, you get all that like, like, karate. Like, 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 <laughs> you got the twist. You got the magical <laughs> twist, and then you got like. Oh my god. Magical twist. You got the the backhand. Mhm. Mm you got the the double hand. You got the the okay. Then you got the clap. <laughs> Cody, you Look got the clap? <laughs> <laughs> he overreacted the hostess shutting down. <laughs> I think he's gonna sell that shit and make money. Lots of I'm like on the same same point at Reddit <gasps> as you are. You guys are dual dual on Reddit. Oh wow. That is depressing. That is depressing. Did you see the cat thing after a house fire? That's what I just looked at. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in sync on Reddit right now. Next one, so Morgan Freeman one. GIF. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not Morgan Freeman. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Yo. it is. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Dude, I want a Morgan Freeman midget. Like a, they don't exist. He does exist there. <laughs> My imagination, if I think of it, it exists. That's how the world works. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I should Silent. probably write down what we've been talking about, huh? Midgets. Uh, what was the Colorado shooter guy? Uh, some crazy dude. I don't know his name. Oh, so it's black people. <laughs> this is funny. We talk about midgets, black people, and killing. We talk about something else. Walking Dead. Uh. All right, I'm <clears throat> caught up. Where I was? I'm good. <laughs> the Walking Dead was kind of annoying. Where that we blonde didn't even check if she was dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Explain. Explain yourself. Okay. So the wife in Walking Dead was pregnant. Rick's wife. Rick's wife in Walking Dead was pregnant, and when she was going to give birth, they were under zombie attack, of course, and when she went to go give birth in a secret little hidey out space, she died, or well, they think she died because they had to cut her open, give her a C-section without any drugs or anything, 
And then she's like passed out, it looks like, and her son just shoots her in the fucking face <laughs> and says, I don't give a fuck, she's dead. Oh, she's dead, gotta shoot her. Boom! <laughs> in the next episode, Rick went back though, and wasn't she gone? I don't know if that was. I think they buried her already. I think, I don't know. I don't okay. know if that was where she was, because he didn't know where she was. I thought immediately. It looked after like it happened, 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 he went crazy. Yeah. And yeah. just like went on a fucking. I couldn't rampage. really tell if that was what it was trying to get across, or if it was just like yeah. him going on a rampage. Well, I, a yeah, I think it was just zombie. going on. Yeah, he went on a rampage because yeah, I don't know if it was a pregnant zombie because it didn't make zombie. sense how a pregnant zombie randomly got into the prison. Oh, because visitations and shit. Uh, sure or someone could have been there to hide out before. Yeah, that's and true. Was pregnant. Yeah, he just how convenient. There's a pregnant. One for him to take his anger out on. Everything's convenient. Just like the zombie attack happened as soon as she went into labor. That's true. <laughs> Which I don't mind that. But they well, shot her in the fucking face before they checked if she was dead. Stress can induce a labor. It's, it's true. Bam! Oh, logic. Logic. She had a logic bombed. Everything is but so then, pretty convenient. No, they were like, they were like, we used a lot of logic here. Stress induced the labor. We better kill this bitch so logic doesn't get too crazy. No, and not th check if yeah. she's dead. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> One thing I really don't like about the show is when the zombie attacks happen, it's like, they use camera angles. They're like, oh no, look, zombies. And all of a sudden, they're almost like right behind them. Like, we didn't see them when they're... 100 feet behind no all of a sudden they're like right behind us yeah and they you know? make noises too they're like, yeah, like, rah, rah, rah. like they're not too yeah. subtle <laughs> uh, the, yeah zombies have never been sneaky but somehow in this show they're the sneakiest fucking zombies around these are like ninja zombies <laughs> and they so, tart out when they get near people vanish <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. But that's all they do. They use, like, tricky camera angles to, like, oh, no, now all of a sudden they're really close. And then, like, it'll cut to the other person. I'm like, oh, no, run. It's like, you should have told them to run, like, ten minutes ago when they're headed towards them. Would it make you happy if they were just, like, ultimate zombie warriors and they just perfectly defended every zombie that came up? Well, there's movies like that, though. Like, Dawn of the Dead, those zombies ran and they could jump and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's there's like a Left 4 Dead. <laughs> there's another movie. I don't know what it's talking about. Uh, some something was talking about it. But they're talking that they were more like um, <clears throat> packs of wolves and stuff. And like they would like if there was a barricade, they would get on their knees, and the other zombies would crawl on top of that one. So they'd make like a zombie ladder out of themselves, so they could get over the barricade. Hmm. So they're like sort of logical zombies. Oh, um, World War Z. Preview has something like that. Where Maybe that's what it was for. Yeah, yeah. the Z um, preview, which looks awesome, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to uh, read that book here soon. Uh, I think the movie it, comes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the movie comes out till like, yeah, the, summer of the, next year. Yeah, the first um, preview like thing just came out. So Brad Pitt's in it though, so he usually doesn't take a role unless he thinks it's going to be a good movie. I mean, let's see, yeah. he's been in a lot of really good movies. <laughs> Man, we really, bad, okay? we really do get off topic. We started with Colorado mm -hmm. Shooter, went to Midgets, went to Black People, went to Walking Dead. So sort of, it sort of had a logic follow, like the murderer led to zombies somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Through Midgets. <laughs> Through Midgets. <laughs> Which we still have yet to see the Midget Zombie. I thought we were going to see a zombie baby. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead also had that. Not only did they have running zombies, but they had zombie baby. I want to see a midget zombie. That would, I would laugh my ass off. <laughs> yeah. It would be all that <laughs> and stuff. I'm so pumped that that... <laughs> What's his name? The crossbow dude. Do you remember his name? Awesome. I don't know. Merle and Daryl. 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 His Daryl. Daryl. <clears throat> had that poncho randomly. <laughs> so I'm going to fucking throw on this poncho. I guess it's a good protection against a zombie bite, maybe? No. No? Poncho's not a good protection? I mean, it covers your whole body except your neck. Yeah, I guess. If I were to fight zombies, first thing I would get is a, a riot shield of some sort. That would be sweet. You know who'd be super lucky? People have, like, prosthetic arms and legs. Yeah. Like, prosthetic That's arms another... and legs. Because they bite their arms like, fuck you, zombie. <laughs> well, they, the... They'd have to bite Wrong their one. arms or something. <laughs> The, uh, that's another thing I just realized was the, they had a riot shield at some point in time in that show, didn't they? Remember when they first entered? Yeah. Like, T-Dog grabbed a riot shield. Yeah, they did. Let's not keep that riot shield, though. That would be too convenient. Nope. 
Yep. So when we travel the hallways, Cheeto we could always died. have a riot shield. Cheeto always totally dead, so. Yeah, why Tito told Because he didn't keep his riot shield. Yeah, because like, okay, <laughs> done using the riot shield. No, it's because they got a new black person. And they yeah, didn't he couldn't him. keep that riot shield. Or else he <laughs> <was> <laughs> Only Tito was allowed to use that riot shield. They even had riot gear, like they had helmets and stuff, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. that's they, kind they of were pretty decked out. Yeah, well, after <laughs> <laughs> they went retarded. Sorry, I can't use this stuff anymore. And then It'd be they decided too... not to check if someone was dead before they shot him in the face. Yeah, it'd be too <laughs> inconvenient for the plot if you had uh, riot shields and gear to protect yourself. True. For the drama in that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> right, it's like riot shield. Oh, well, another zombie. <laughs> so, uh, Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving because it's always on a Thursday. But if it were on a Wednesday, it would be Wanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an awesome holiday. <laughs> and we would eat worky. <laughs> oh, snap. Shit, dog. What the fuck is going on in that picture? Mm-hmm. I'm going to celebrate Wanksgiving right before Thanksgiving. Wanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? I'll celebrate that with you. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> one man show. It's a, one day <laughs> it's a solo holiday. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate Thanksgiving by yourself? Yeah. Dildo or strap on. Oh. I don't know. It'll it'll be a long show because I will never finish. Vibrating panties. Vibrating That's panties. not wanking. That's like vibrating. Jockey. <laughs> <laughs> you think a woman's been born with two clits and so she could like dual uh-huh. DJ? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> If I've thought of it, it it's on the internet. I Google it right now. True. Google it. Google double click. Do it. Do what? Double click. Double click. Get yeah. Shit. Double click. <laughs> I don't understand. Say double clitoris. But I could. Double clitoris. I don't know what you mean by double clitoris. Searching the web for double clitoris. I said it just fine. <laughs> Premier is the double clitoris or bifid clitoris. <laughs> bifid clitoris. Here's Yahoo answers. Bifid clitoris. Is it possible to have two clitorises? <laughs> Clitori? It is possible, but highly unlikely. I'm pretty sure like you're describing the labia, labia majora, which is often mistaken for double clitoris or the actual clitoris. That is almost the same size, and yes, it is highly sensitive. How is she mistaking her labia for a clitoris? It might be some kind of disease where it like bunches up and looks like a clit, I don't know. He says, it looks like a normal clit, except there appears to be another one alongside it, near the same length and width. Both have the same sensitivity. I'm going to the doctor soon, but I'm impatient. Do you any of it? Uh, maybe like where her like labia's meet or something, it bunches up more? I uh, don't spend a lot of time down there staring at it. No? So, I'm not an expert on this <laughs> at all. I generally have a good feel for what's going on, but visually, like... Dude, you gotta be like Inspector Gadget down there. <laughs> he's kind of awkward sometimes in the bedroom. Just sitting there, and he's like, oh, hmm. I'm like taking Write notes. Write down in my log. <laughs> <laughs> I sketch it like it's fucking... Somebody's out committing murders and came from her vagina. I'm sketching, man. Yeah, I get her all ready, and then I'm like, wait, hold that pose. Let me draw this. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> okay, open your legs. Let me draw that clitoris. <laughs> oh, the shit. There's two in there. <laughs> that would be if I wanted to be extra artistic and be like... Alien clit. I want to say Pinocchio, but I meant Picasso. <laughs> Pinocchio was in my head. Because I was thinking of my penis. Then he's a big character who... Every time they lie, their dick gets longer. I have a feeling that's been made before. It sounds... <laughs> I need to get on my one cartoon character that I made where... Oh my god. <laughs> his dick that's can grow, an idea right there. His dick can grow at any length and it has all kinds of special tricks. Like, according to how he like strokes his dick, he can shoot loads. Like, if he strokes it really fast and hard, he can shoot like a gallon gun. Like... But if he like strokes it long and hard, it'll it's be like... like made. Yeah, like... Like a rocket will come out like... <laughs> And if he just does it like mediocre style, it's just like a normal gun, like boom, boom, boom. And if he like shooks it really fast at the tip, right at the tip, it's like, 
<laughs> it'll come out like a shotgun blast and like little mini cum loads will come out and shoot a, a big area effect. But he also, he could do like stuff where he like he could take his dick and like spin it around like helicopter <laughs> dick. But he would actually be turned into a helicopter. Like his dick would spin and turn into the blades and he'd flip over and he could go around. Or... <laughs> <laughs> like so your about dead, these midgets. You're dead stare about this <laughs> cartoon character. <laughs> you thought about this before. He was yes. high. <laughs> Absolutely not. I do not do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Or he could also bungee with his dick. So he could like lean I over like it. kick it. Like a kickstand and then like scrunchy up and then like ping. And he could fly. It, w- it would scrunchy up. Yeah, it'd scrunchy up. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> he could... Man, what else could he do? There's so his, many things. His ball's got to have power, too. Well, he oh, I mean, that's where he would get, like, all the ammo from for his dick. Yeah, but the balls are more than just an ammo sack. Like, that's true. <laughs> that's you're going to have a dick that can turn into a helicopter. Well, the balls can, like, like on South Park, it can be like a fucking a bouncy, a hoppy bouncer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, he could always let them enlarge so he could sit down. Like, he never has to sit, have a seat anywhere, that's for sure. That's not cool. Superman doesn't sit down. Well, you know what? Superman's not realistic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I remember one of the other things I thought of. He could also um, stretch it when there's like a building on fire. He could like fling it up to the top rope, and people could slide down it like a little shoot to save Does everybody fall, will that cause him to shoot loads then no like, are, like stroking it on the it, way it's down? like a will thing if he wants to will the cum to come out that's when he does it he and has he the will. put out the fire with his cum so this dude has like ultimate control over his climax <laughs> yes yeah of course he does he does kegels <laughs> <laughs> what was his <laughs> kegels <laughs> I forget what his arch enemy was what was it condom condom man <laughs> <laughs> latex or something like that. He'd be like allergic to latex. That'd be yeah, his like kryptonite. kryptonite. There we go. And his sidekick though was like. I had a sidekick. No, it was like I think it was a vagina. It, it should be clitoris. <laughs> Just like a little Clitoris. a little button. <laughs> a little nubbin thing. A little nubbin. What What would the nubbin's power be? To be a it could like shrink to really tiny sizes and like get into <laughs> people's systems and stuff. They're actually making a Marvel uh, Ant Man, and that's one of the things Ant Man does. I guess he's like super strong no matter what size he is, mm-hmm. but he can like shrink and go inside your body and just like tear you apart from the inside. <laughs> so it's like a really violent uh, comic, I guess. I need to read it. So I've never even like heard of Ant Man that much. Yeah, but, really yeah, he's coming out in <clears throat> 2015. They're making an Ant-Man movie. It's coming out. That's also, I think, when the next uh, Avengers movie comes out. Oh, yeah. So, I listen to the IGN podcast that gives you all the sweet information about movies like that. My uh, nephew's obsessed with Iron Man right now. And went from yeah. Batman to Iron Man. Iron Man is pretty cool. He is. I like how he's the only one that actually is like, oh, hey guys, I'm fucking Iron Man. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I mean, that's the whole Tony Stark character is to be really cocky about it all. Yeah. It is a nice change of pace. I am Iron Man. (laughs) I'm pretty sure he's never said it that way. I think he has. Get your red bull off my shit. I feel like Dick Man is the greatest (laughs) superhero alive. Oh, we also, how we got his powers was he, um... He put on a condom that had some kind of... No, he fucked an alien. Oh, that's what it was. He fucked an alien. That's what happened. <laughs> he fucked an alien. And what did that do? It gave him like an STD powers. that gave him powers. An alien Not STD. AIDS. Okay. Alien AIDS. <coughs> so can he spread this? Can he spread the alien SD? Yeah, but um, if he came inside a woman, he would kill her. Because it would shoot the load like straight through her head. It would just like, go all the way up and right out the head. Because his loads are so powerful. You have to be an alien to be able to take it. What if it wasn't Superman's butt? <laughs> Superman he could do it. Alien. Superman could take it. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that would probably be his gay lover if he could ever have it. <laughs> the superhero, he'd probably be bisexual. I feel like your character would be a villain. Because he can't have sex anymore. He's have all the angst and anger built up in his life. But he's too silly to be, uh... Couldn't he just shoot one really soft load if he has ultimate control over his climaxes? He has ultimate AIDS. control of when it happens. <laughs> his AIDS makes it so they're, like, super, But like, you're saying he can, like, pump them out really fast? Or, like, pump one big one out? Or, like... 
But they're always oh, powerful. Wow. They're always like bullets. You can't make them like a like or, a cotton swab come out. Or it just like <laughs> empties the barrel and just leaves one in there, and then it's just like you know the last one just kind of drips out. Okay, maybe. You still or, be able to fuck a chick. What if you just be able he to just come shoots into a into a bucket and then you just syringe that shit? <laughs> and or he syringe just... it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he still wouldn't be fucking women though. <laughs> Yeah. He'd be fucking his hand and then that wasn't my... impregnating women. <laughs> oh no, I remember his sidekick. Oh, his sidekick was two giant hands. He could spread it. <laughs> like two giant way, hands that were people and the giant hands would jack them off and that's how he would come so fast. Like they could move really fast. I forgot about that idea. <laughs> that's how he could spread it. He could come in a bucket and syringe it into people. I still have another thing he could do though. Is he could come out like a web, like Spider Man? He could web people <laughs> with his cum loads, <laughs> web them up. That would be a another interesting uh, comic. Well, not comic, but a plot line would be like, <clears throat> like a dam is exploding or something. So he has to fill up a dam real quick, and he just has to come as much as he can. Wow! And his hands has to do extra work. <laughs> crazy. You are kind of crazy. <laughs> He was just jealous of the dick man. He needs a good name. That's what he needs. Um. Yes, obviously is the fornicator. His regular name just has to be some kind of porn name. The fornicator. Dick man and veins bite. And veins bite. See, this doesn't that's sound a, as good. It's in another language though. Looks like uh, no one's created this yeah. yet. Yeah. All I need is someone yeah, good at art. Here. See, every time I come up with a comic though, it's like I don't. I'm not good at art. I need someone that's good at art. Super powered. Penis. Penis. <laughs> the the greatest thing about the comic would be the amount of puns you could come up with for this. What is uh, that? There's not there's nothing, man. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, that's just somebody drew a dick and it has costumes of all the different superheroes. Dude, I'm telling you, this is a unique superhero right here. Okay. Unique isn't always that great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I beg to differ. But a uh, This guy probably has super power dick powers. <laughs> yeah, the blue guy from... Watchmen. Watchmen definitely has some dick powers. But he was like the ultimate superhero because he could basically do whatever he wants because he controls matter. His penis? Jimmy Johnson, something like that. Johnson has to be the last name, for sure, for his, like, his, uh... Richard Johnson. His actual name. Nah, nah. Oh, because it'd be Dick Johnson. <laughs> I gotcha. Nah. Oh, you're funny. I know. And then his superhero name would have to be... Dick. Dick. Super Dick. <laughs> you didn't find anything on him, did you? No other Dick nope. superhero. Nope. And in this comic, I'll have a black guy and a midget. You can't do that. You <laughs> well, can't do that. I can. You'll do that. Doom for failure, dude. Do that. <laughs> She's gonna fail. I might even have like three black people and three midgets. Those would be like the first enemies he faces. Why black, black guys gotta be enemies? Because they're black and all they do is commit crime. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to think of the first villain he could face. What would be the ultimate enemy of Dick Man? STD something. Cock block man. <laughs> cock block man. <laughs> Cock blocker. <laughs> just cock blocker. <clears throat> the cock blocker. It'd just be like some really bulky guy that can block cocks. Cha! <laughs> cock blocker is good. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's definitely an enemy of Dick Man. <laughs> cock blocker. Um, just call him cock block. No, cock blocker. Cock blocker sounds awesome. That's a sweet looking tower, def tower defense game. Zombie tower defense game. Hey, did you ever play Xenu Tactic? Uh, that sounds familiar. That is the best. Tower defense game I've ever played. I played Kingdom R Kingdom Rush. All right, well, I think we're pretty good for today after Dick Man and Vagina Juice and Double Clitoris. Double Clitoris would have to be in the comic as well. <laughs> Maybe that would be in his enemy. Some no, Clitoris. No, that'd be his fucking sidekick. No, his sidekick are two giant hands that jerk them off. And that's how he gets his special bullet power. He can do that on his own. <clears throat> He's got like one super big arm. M the majority of his enemies should be female. Dude! Your guy's got one super huge arm, like, fucking bulked out, because he's always... Oh, because he's always jacking off? He's okay, got limp arm. you got me. Then <laughs> then the sidekick would be Clitoris. Double Clitoris. He just, he just has that giant jack-off arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look awesome. Oh, I can't wait. You gotta draw this. I don't draw shit. I don't know how to draw. You gotta draw this. It'll be too awesome. So that concludes the ninth ever Discourse of Human Events, where we talk about dicks... Midgets, black people, 
and clitorises. <laughs> with the great name of Discourse of Human Events for such a silly podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's making me nervous.